Hello everyone, welcome to this video that explains the rules for the MathWorks Minitone competition. Let us first talk about the problem statement that each team has to work on. It's a line follower using the mini drone. The mini drone has a downward facing camera that has to be used to follow the underneath track and smoothly land on the circular marker that is located at the end of the track. The track will have only straight lines and would not include any curved paths. As mentioned in the last video, the competition consists of two rounds, simulation and deployment. And each of the teams have to implement the mini drone line follower for both the rounds. Let's talk about the first round of the competition. The participants have to work on a solution and submit their model to us before the submission deadline. The procedure for doing so is mentioned in the rules guideline document on the MathWorks mini drone competition webpage. The first round of the competition will be evaluated on how accurately the mini drone traces the path in simulations, how much time is taken to complete the path, and has the mini drone landed correctly on the circle at the end of the track, along with having code generation capability for the model. The submitted model will be evaluated on different tracks in simulation, and the entries will be judged by MathWorks engineers. Let's move to the next round, which is a simulation and deployment round. For this, there would be teams that would be shortlisted from round one and will have to be present on the day of the competition. Each team will be provided with a hardware to work on by MathWorks and this day will be divided into two parts, which would be the practice round and the live round. Let's move to the first part of round two, which is the practice round. This is mainly aimed at getting acquainted with the hardware to calibrate and test the hardware this round would not be evaluated for results and each team would get two slots of 15 minutes. Live round is where the algorithm and the performance of the hardware will be judged. Every team gets one slot of 15 minutes in which they can fly their hardware seven times. At the end of this 15 minute slot, each team has to nominate one of those seven flights on which they would want to be judged. The teams would be graded based on the number of track sections they have completed. And the judge will decide which stage the mini drone flight has completed, as explained in the next illustration. Now let's just go through the flight stages, which would be graded by the judge who will be present on the day of the competition. Once the drone has completed its takeoff, it's stage zero, stage one, section two complete, stage two, stage 3, stage land and once verified that it is on the circle, it's stage complete. During the live round, time will be a considered factor only if the mini drone lands on the end circular marker and the landing will be considered when mini drone's bottom surface touches the circle and stays there. Here are a few examples of correct landing on the cir circular marker. The first one is a correct one because the entire mini drone has landed correctly on the circular mark. Whereas the second one is not because the entire body of the mini drone is outside except the bumper. Hence, the bottom of the mini drone does not touch the circle. The third one is again a wrong one because the mini drone has landed upside down on the circular marker. And the fourth one is a correct one because a part of the mini drone has landed on the circular marker. Please visit the MathWorks mini drone competition website. In case you all have any questions, please feel free to ask us on MATLAB answers with a tag of mini drone competition. And you all can also email us at roboticsarena at the rate Thank you and see you all in the next video.